Hey. As you saw from the title, this is not a breaking sports video. This isn't a Madden video. This isn't anything. All those videos will be coming soon. This is just my raw reaction from built up rage from all day bullcrap from Howie Roseman. I am officially declaring him to get the hell out of Philadelphia. I know I don't usually center myself on the specific team, but this needs to be talked about. All Eagles fans, I think we're all done with Howie Roseman. This Eagles-centered maniac has... He's like... He's so dumb with some of the things he does. I, I, I don't understand. It's like he doesn't learn from his mistakes. For some reason this year, before the season even started... We're having injuries all across the board, everywhere. I thought this, sh I thought this stuff was supposed to stop <laughs> before the season even started. We have like eight players on IR. I'm just guessing right now. This is my raw reaction. This is not going to be edited. This is like a last minute thing. I have nothing planned right now. I'm just spewing my rage, build up rage all freaking day. And I know I don't specify. I, I know I don't talk about a specific team most of the time and this isn't even a regular podcast video but i'm just getting sick and tired of howie roseman man I, I feel like a drunk eagles fan could be a better general manager than him i'm just speaking for all eagles fans out there i'm mainly speaking from the bottom of my heart i want him out i'm done defending him i've defended him because he helped us win the super bowl back in 2017 all right his at this point i'm his ego is just too much that's what the, everything he's done since 2017 has been crap i think every move every decision he's made has been egocentric all right his ego has gone to his freaking head and i think he i think he should be fired it's he's an embarrassing embarrassment right now he's embarrassing i'm embarrassed to call him my general manager at this moment right now he is a bad manager a bad general manager and i can't believe i'm saying this because he started out so great in 2016 he made great when he like first like gained 100 percent rings as becoming the general manager like he had full control of everything he started out great he got nigel bradham he fixed the offensive line he got a lot of great key playmakers he drafted carson wentz <laughs> uh, he he was really good in 2016 and 17. Every decision he's he made, he was really good in 2016 and 2017. And drafted great backups. Drafted Jalen Mills in the seventh round. Who's he's a good player. He's an all right player. All right, and <laughs> he helped us win the Super Bowl. I mean, he he got great backups. He got Nick Foles. He he got great. Uh, he drafted a great player at the time, Matt Collins. And running backs were elite. Like he made he, who knew Jay Ajayi was going to be that good in 2017? I mean, he was pretty crappy back in Miami, and he was pretty good here. But Garrett Blunt was pretty solid. You know, tight ends one of the best tight end groups in the whole NFL at the time. We had Zach Ertz, Brent Selleck, Trey Burton, back in 2017. And helped us win the Super Bowl. Trey Burton threw the Philly special. Howie Roseman was great in 2016 and 17. In 2018, it started to slip a little bit. You know, he he, he picked up guys in free agency who it was just on weird picks. I, we picked up a defensive tackle to pair with Fletcher Cox, and it wasn't a good pickup. I forget his name right now. I'm blanking on it. Uh, defensive everything was just kind of solid he wasn't that great in 2018 either he picked up players that have gotten injured a ton uh he wasn't that great in 2018 as well drafting like who did we draft oh yeah yeah he drafted um yeah he also needs to get a new scouting team too howie roseman like wh what is he doing with some of the draft picks that he gets you know what i'm saying who did he draft in 2018 in the first round? I'm, I'm blanking on it. I know who we drafted last year. The bust Andre Dillard. <laughs> he, 
Who did we get in 2000? Crap. I know we got Dallas Goddard that year in the second round. Who did we get in 2000? I'm blanking on it, man. I'm I'm just so angry right now with Howie Roseman. So why am I angry right now? <laughs> he, he said he was going to fix this injury problem. We already have so many players on IR already. Derek Barnett is just a bust at this point. Why did he release Craven LeBlanc? Why did he release Russell Douglas? Who do we have left on the cornerback depth chart right now? We have starting cornerback, Darius Slay. We'll see if he can stay healthy. <laughs> you know, we have uh, Coleman, a slot receiver, some new guy. We have Avante Maddox, who's who was <laughs> he was he got injured last year. You know, and he's still a new, inexperienced player. And then we got Craig James. That's it. And we released Craylon Blanc for a running back from the fifth round of the Lions. Are we freaking kidding me right now? What the hell are you doing, Howie Rosen? What are you doing? I want to yell so bad right now, but it's 1.30 in the morning, and I just have all this built-up rage. <sighs> Let me tell you, man. I'm, I'm calling for his job. I'm calling for his job. His ego has gone to his head. And his the way he, who we... The way he drafted this year, man. The players we drafted. We had Justin Jefferson on the board, and we drafted Jalen Rager. Your ego is that big that you wanted to go with a less talented guy? I do like Jalen Rager, but Justin Jefferson is going to be one of the best wide receivers coming out of that draft class. I say he's the second best. Jalen Rager is like the fourth best. It's like, what the hell? And then in the second round, you draft Jalen Hurts. You draft Jalen freaking Hurts. No. 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 No, 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 no. You don't draft the quarterback in the second round. You just don't. You don't draft the quarterback in the second round. Who who does that when you extend your quarterback for so many more years? Why did you do that? You idiot. That's going to get into Carson Wentz's mind now. He's already starting to, he started to mess up a little bit during training camp. He threw three picks in a row, I think, this year in training camp. It's getting into his head, and Jalen Hurts. He's like Dak Prescott. Way, way overrated. But he is pretty fast. But you don't draft. There were so many better options out there than Jalen Hurts with speed-wise. Di- Tyler Huntley. Uh, I forget his name. The Rams have him right now. Sean Perkins, I think. If you want to do that dual quarterback type of playmaking, I'm guessing that they want to do with Jalen Hurts. They want to like switch him out like to put in like a Taysom Hill type of role. That's fine. But you don't do that with a second-round quarterback. You don't draft the quarterback specifically for that need. That's that's dumb. That's gonna get in Carson Wentz's head. He already, I feel so bad for Carson Wentz, man. Carson Wentz has gone through so much adversity. He has, and now to add more pressure to him, you draft the quarterback in the second round. I I think they're treating him like he's Andrew Luck right now. And keep in mind, he does have injury problems. But I mean. He, 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 you're going to mess with Carson Wentz's head by drafting a quarterback in the second round. Second round. Oh, and this year. Man, oh man, the players that they released. I have to give them a round of applause for releasing Cindy Jones. Because I'm sick and tired of that bum on the Eagles. Alright. Sharif Miller, a draft bust. He can't draft for the life of him. He can't. Oh, and our first round pick injured. Our safety that was supposed to be the replacement for Malcolm Jenkins on IR. Our main running back is freaking injured. I thought you were supposed to fix this problem. And who do we have left on our running back? We have Boston Scott. Hey, he's pretty good. Uh, Corey Clement, a guy who gets injured all the time, and a rookie from the fifth round. Why did we not keep Elijah Holyfield? Why did we not keep... Oh, and our six-round wide receiver, Quez Watkins, on IR. Oh, just great. Just great, Howie Roseman. Just freaking great, you know? My God, a drunk Eagles fan could be a general manager than you. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm only going to talk about this for two more minutes. I just need to get off this crap. Just random, random thoughts. 
Alright, I, I just need to spew it out because I'm just getting sick and tired of, of Howie Roseman. I'm calling for his job. And I'm just, oh my god, I was yelling at, about this all freaking day. All freaking day. Every day it seems like it's getting worse for the Eagles. It's like it's getting worse. I might do a part two of this where I can really freaking yell right now because I'm keeping myself at a low volume, all right? I am so angry. I am so angry I can't even come up with the words to say. Our linebackers are crap. <laughs> Our linebackers are crap. What was your thinking there? I have no freaking idea. Our cornerbacks, we have barely anyone left. And how do we keep Jordan Mylala? If I'm even freaking saying your name right. How do we keep him over Joe Osmond? I feel like Joe Osmond could have 25 freaking sacks during training camp. And they would not keep him because he's an undrafted free agent. He's an undrafted guy. Alright, the Eagles, they make undrafted guys basically beg and bleed before they keep them on the roster. You know how long it took Greg Ward to go onto the roster last year? You know how long that took? And I blame that all on Howie Roseman because Doug Peterson, it, he seemed like he was adv advocating for him to be on the actual roster. And it seems like Howie Roseman's like, you know, we drafted Matt Collins in the third round back in 2017. And I know he hasn't been injured. I know he's been injured like all the time. And I know he's barely proven himself even though Greg Ward Jr. out here is catching passes like crazy during training camp. Let's keep the guy who's a bum and crippled. What? Dude, Howie Roseman needs to go. I'm I'm done. Howie Roseman needs to go. He, 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 we got rid of Deontay Burnett, who played better than Greg Ward Jr. during training camp. I'm not saying to get rid of Greg Ward. And I'm mainly saying get rid of Alshon Jeffrey. What the hell is Alshon Jeffrey still doing on our freaking roster? Like, he, I think he's activated for week one. I'm telling you right now. Dude, John Hightower. Quez Watkins if he was healthy. Deontay Burnett. Uh, Jalen Rager. Obviously Deshaun Jackson. Maybe J.J. Arcega Whitestead. I'm not sure if he's a bust yet. All those guys can play better than Alshon Jeffrey. He's slow. He likes to talk bad about our quarterback. He likes talking bad about our team for some reason even though he won the freaking Super Bowl with them. Did, did Alshon Jeffrey not remember 2017 where Carson Wentz was throwing dimes to Alshon Jeffrey? Is Alshon Jeffrey having memory issues like Antonio Brown? Did you get your brain checked, Alshon? How is he still freaking on the roster? I don't understand. Trade him. Dude. Dude. Joe Osman. I'm um, sorry. I'm talking about him again. I, I don't understand. what What is his train of thought? How long are we going here? 13 minutes. I'm going to talk about one more minute here. Unfiltered. Unedited. Howie Roseman needs to go. Have Doug Peterson take full reins of the general manager. Become full general manager. Upgrade Doug Peterson because Howie Roseman needs to go. His drafting process is below average. It's It's actually like... There's something wrong with Howie Roseman. With the players he drafts. He's like, oh yeah, we learned from Cindy Jones. Yeah, you learned. But <laughs> you learned that you need to stop getting people that are injured. That was the lesson there. Now you have Quez Watkins on, in, on IR. Then you have Andre Delard, our first round pick on IR. What lesson are you learning? Do I need to talk about anything else? The fact that, oh. Um, yeah, we needed to draft a cornerback this year. We, I say we should draft drafted Trayvon Diggs in the second round. That's a thing. another thing, too. The fact that Tyler Huntley, an undrafted quarterback, is better than Jalen Hurts. He's faster. He has a better arm. He's more accurate. He has 70% completion in college. That's second most behind Joe Burrow. He went undrafted. And he, he's a better option than Jalen Hurts, who we drafted in the second round. So we could have drafted a cornerback, a linebacker, even a safety in the second round. Did we? No, we drafted a freaking quarterback that we didn't even need. Wasted pick. I say we should have drafted Jay, uh, Trayvon Diggs, I believe his name is. Any cornerback. 
And the linebacker that we did draft, he sucks. Davion Taylor, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I'm just not a fan. That, oh. All right, I'm done. I'm going to have a freaking heart attack if I keep talking about this. I know I don't usually talk about this stuff on my channel. Usually it's podcasts with a calm manner. I might be doing a part two of this so I can really freaking yell because I'm sure the Eagles are going to make more mistakes throughout the freaking year because that's all they freaking do is make freaking mistakes. I might go a little bit on a mini rant about the Saints, oh, especially on the Jaguars. Man, the Jaguars are a freaking mess. I don't like going on rants. I like doing my regular podcast. My Mad- um, I gotta do- I'm still editing my Madden 21 video. Keep an eye on that. I don't like doing rants. I'm not a rant. I don't like doing rants, but this is just ridiculous. Howie Roseman needs to freaking go. I might start a petition for Howie Roseman's job. Like, give it to anyone. <laughs> give it to me. I, I mean, seriously. A drunk Eagles fan. Anyone. Anyone could do better. Scott, uh, sorry. Uh, Skip Bayless can do better than Howie Roseman right now. <laughs> That's a little bit of a stretch, but I mean. Dude, I don't know what his thought process on anything is. I have no idea. I have no idea. Alright, I'm done. Uh, you should be seeing my Madden 21 video coming out soon as a review. And you should be seeing a couple Madden videos. I have them recorded. I just have had the time to edit it. And uh, Breaking Sports Podcast. There's a new episode. I know I'm really behind. I have them all recorded and stuff. So, yeah. Uh, I think that's it. See you guys. See you on the next one.